There's a shift in the customer's desire to promote sustainability in their practices. I think the actions and decisions that customers make and that we're making are necessary in order for this whole industry to continue to be viable. And so I think there's an interest in being able to showcase that we're doing something different. I think it's important we start to think about the circular economy and, and ways we can you know, extend the life of components and recycle and reuse components because resources are finite and raw materials are finite. But we need to drive down the, the materials we're utilizing in the rebuild process and the water, the electricity, the power, so that we can do it more efficiently and, and reduce the impact on the environment. That iron is already out of the ground and we've already pulled it out of the ground. So the more times we can use that iron, it is better for everybody. Some components have five or six lives on them. Five or six lives meaning that they've come back five or six times and we've rebuilt them, machined them, and reassembled them and they've gone back out and done 20,000 to 50,000 hours where they essentially could have been scrapped. The OEM process really is about taking a core that, that comes in from a customer that's used, disassembling the, the entire component down to its piece parts, making sure that every part is inspected for reusability, and if required, we'll salvage all those parts, we'll run it through our machine shop or our welding operations. We couple that with some new parts, and then we bring it into our assembly area, we fully reassemble that component um, back to a like new condition, and then for engines and many of our powertrain components, we'll run them through a test cell to make sure that they meet the highest standard of quality. OEM is always investing in their future to ensure that the component salvage work that we're doing is of top quality in the industry, if not the world. We want to be the world-class remanufacturer for all divisions. We work in mining, construction and power systems and we want to continue to invest in the latest technology to drive the costs out of our rebuild process as well as reduce the impact on the environment. We have the procedures and policies in place that allow us to build a component like new and salvage the piece parts within it to meet all of the reusability guidelines. We can test a component and ensure that it's going to meet that same quality of life at really a fraction of the cost. And when you rebuild parts, basically, essentially, you're getting the same performance, quality, and warranty as a new part. In fact, in some cases, it's even better than new because we're introducing new technology in the rebuild process. Every component we rebuild at OEM takes a little bit different amount of time. Engines take anywhere from six to eight weeks, powertrain components four to six, and hydraulic cylinders three to five weeks. Additionally, we offer an opportunity for customers to come to OEM, to see our processes, to understand our procedures, to walk through our machine shop and our welding operations and see what we're doing, understand how we're making decisions. I think it really instills a lot of trust that we're so transparent with what we do. We're diverting millions of pounds of scrap metal a year from landfills because we're using all that scrap metal in the rebuild process. When we cannot reuse a part, we have a very good recycling system. I think it's great that OEM is situated towards uh, sustainability and helping the environment and it gets better and better every year. We're always looking for ways at OEM to be more sustainable as a company. From the amount of electricity we use in our operations to the amount of water we use in our, our cleaning processes. We're looking for opportunities to get better. Sustainability is important because we want to have a future. If we don't do it, then there's nothing gonna be there for our kids or the future generation. <laughs>